Rub a dub dub. Six dollars. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are at Goodwill. So, I haven't been to this Goodwill in a while, but it's in a nicer town, so therefore, we may find some nicer things, although I usually can't. It's like, I don't know, people come from all over. They come to this, they flock to this Goodwill, and then they buy all the good stuff, and I'm off with the bad will. We're going to go in, we'll see what I can find, maybe I'll find something to resell. Well, you know how much I like the fancy part. These are not fancy. These are the old-fashioned plastic and metal ones. I like the all-plastic ones. Okay. I haven't been here in so long. It looks all different. So we have some ghost candles. Well, my goodness, what will they think of next? And they have all of these decorations. We're not looking at decorations and Halloween things. We're just not going to be that person. We're going to go elsewhere. Everywhere I want to go, I'm in the wrong... Okay, here's an arrow I can use. I'm trying to be good and follow the arrows because I don't want to get a ticket. There's going to be a Goodwill policeman that walks around and gives people tickets if they're not using the right arrows. I'm kidding. I, I don't know if that was... I was clear. I was, I was kidding. There's no Goodwill ticket man. Oh, a little chicken happening over here. Whoops. It's a chicken family. That's what they do. They like to stand in line and just... I don't know. They find their stuff. It's just one, though. I can't do much with just one mug. There's lots of mugs here. They just don't happen to match, do they? Well, let's go down. Oh, you know where the best place is? The figurine aisle. <laughs> you knew I was going to say that. Oh, and the lamp aisle. But I'm kidding, because it's usually junk. Yep, yeah, so it's lots of new lamps, unfortunately. Oh. It's like the 80s and 90s are right here. That's a wedding vase. It's not a very good wedding though, I guess. There's some pretty things. Let's look at the figurines. Oh my gosh. There are so many. There's actually a lion thing that I want right here. Let's look at this together. Oh my goodness. It's like a whole teapot situation. Oh my goodness. They were waiting for me. I do so well here. We've got this one. He's not having it though. He's sad that his candle's melting. Oh my goodness, somebody had a lion collection and then they just said, screw it, I'm done. Yeah. Oh, look at the little mouse. That's six dollars, by the way. Oh, and the little snow bunny baby. She's not wanting to hear whatever's happening. She's trying to cover her ears. For 50 cents, I'll take it. All oh, these lion things, I'm so happy. There's a soap holder. <laughs> That's three dollars, though. We gotta get we gotta get real. Three dollars is too much to hold some soap. There's a raccoon. Hey, how you doing, Mr. Raccoon? Two dollars. What's today's color sale? Do we happen to know? Oh, this frog trivet. Or it's a tile, but oh, there's chips on the bottom. Hmm, that's a Lion King, straight up Lion King right there. <laughs> that's a Schmid music box. How you doing? Hi. Do you know what today's color sale is? It, uh, green? green is half off. Okay. Let's see if it works. Oh, it works. That's good. 
they have all their tails and everything. There's like a little flea bite, let's call it, little color missing, but that's not bad. That's on the back for the Lion King. Oh, look at the lamb. It's a lamb planter. There's all the legs. We are doing so good here. Two dollars. I will say that some of the cold paint is missing, which is pretty normal though. So look at that. This is a sleeping lion for three. Oh, and it just says lion, so you know exactly what. They made this for me. They're like, Jeffrey, this is a lion. I have trouble, you know. It's um three dollars. I'll do it. <laughs> Distract This one is resin and we just don't That's care about that. Oh, this is Capitamonte Italian, but the leaves are broken. Darn. Rub a dub dub. Six dollars. There's so many good ones. <laughs> So many. Okay, let's back it on up. I bet we passed the good stuff over here too. There's so many things. There's so many good things, like this crab. Actually, that is kind of cute, isn't it? Made in USA. This sold for $26 at one point. Well, I like it. Oh, how much is it? $2, okay. Oh, the lamb is a dollar, I just realized, because it's half off. That's flashed on. The red is kind of coming off on that amber. Well, we are doing splendid here at the Goodwill, I will say. It's a little red, but that is really pretty. It has a, some strawberries, some fruits. Baby, ooh, this is pretty. That's Double Tea Japan Hello. for two dollars. I love that. That's, I haven't seen a scene like that before with the girl. Wow, this is the best I think I've ever done at this Goodwill. I don't own any of these bears. No offense if you like your bears, so I don't like bears, as a rule. Maybe one day things will change and I'll be into them. What in the world? This is 50 cents. This is like made out of some kind of a leaf. Getting my fruit. We are doing splendid. That's Otagiri. Gotta get the $3 cat, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, we sure do. Oh, my britches keep falling off, darn it. I should've wore a belt. getting serious. We're looking for the best of the best here, the cream of the crop. Oh. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Is this McCoy or Shawnee or whatever it is, three dollars is a winner. That color. It's like sea foam. Okay, I wanted to show you a few more things. I put in my cart. I needed to go two hands. So I went back and I found all these little things. So this is wood. It's wood carved. It's a little lion dancer. Tree ornament. Here's another one of these little paper guys. These are coasters. Three dollars. But they're like stone. And then I did get the bell because it was 50 cents. It's cute. So I got the Got the Japan UC TC some C. 
Japan Bell. So that was a good find. All these things. So good. So good. Okay. So now we're in the dish aisle. The dish aisle. So far, not much. Yes, I'm leaving the Pyrex early American. I do not want it. Someone else can have it. You know, I'll admit, I'm not a huge Pyrex fan. I used to buy and sell it. I mean, I, w I still will if it's a good, good price. Ooh, I like this. But, um, that's new, huh? But I am very selective on my Pyrex purchases. They've got to be very fun. In early Pyrex, like 50s, 50s and 60s, not 70s and 80s. Okay. Okay, we're gonna look down the wood aisle. This is a aisle I just don't give enough attention in any store. But that is changing right now, because right now, I'm gonna buy this turkey for a dollar. And see, that's such a great thing. I like it actually, I'm not kidding. It's really cool. The geese, as much as I'd like those to come back, not those, they can stay here. It's too early for those particular geese to come back. So then there are these things, these are plastic. And this owl is, is just, owl, you almost hurt me. You had a sharp thing on you. Bear things, again, they can stay here. They don't need to come back yet. Ooh, Mr. Giraffe, are you wood or are you plastic? You're a $3 plastic giraffe made by, who knows, because it doesn't say. I was thinking perhaps Home Co or something, but I don't know. Yikes. It's a dance party over there, I guess. Oh. What is this, like Dubai? Coffee, no lid. Jamaica. Well, okay. We did find our one thing, our turkey basket. So that's great. They really wanted to go to Jamaica and then they got there, it seems like. And then they just wanted to sell all their memories. They're like, well, that wasn't like what we thought. And so they sold their Jamaica box. Maybe this is where they put all their money to save for Jamaica. Is all, this going to be filled with money? No, it's not. So I hope they made it to Jamaica. Sounds like they didn't like it, but that's okay. They didn't like Tennessee either, did they? Well, I don't blame them. I'm joking. I'm joking. It was another joke. I've been to Pigeon Forge. Dollywood's there. Great place. Well, gosh, I did really well there at that Goodwill. So I found a whole lion collection. It goes to show you never know what, what it's gonna be like at the Goodwill. I have come, I have came to this Goodwill multiple times and usually I walk out with like two things, if I'm lucky. But today I had a whole cart full. So there you go. That was really fantastic. So with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.